Alright guys, what's going on? This is part 3 and uh, the final part of the tutorial video on how to hook up the decoders and the 7 segment display to your CPU. Uh, what I'm looking at here is a program timer. Timer. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of the next video I'm going to put out. This will probably just be a one part video. But basically, this is just a timer hooked up to a clock and uh, it, this one will run to 15 and every unit that you hook up to it this one has four so the answer comes out in binary and so with four lines all you can get up to is 15 but for every unit that you hook up you can go up higher numbers so you know you can go as high as you want but I'm gonna just give you a real quick rundown how to do this I uh, disconnected the adders as you can see and uh, basically hooked this up and as you like if you've seen the last video I only hooked up four of the or yeah four of the decoders I hooked up 0 1 2 and 3 so as you can see right now the zero line is the one that's on since nothing's running but I'm gonna give you a real quick example here and I can hook up a switch to this but I'm just gonna basically you know give it power and give you a quick example so you can see But yeah, you just want to put a torch on it and then put the line of redstone back down. That's the same thing as basically hooking up a switch to it. And uh, it'll just basically toggle through 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then it'll go back to 0. And the reason why it's doing this and not going to 15 is because I don't have all the 15 decoders hooked up. And like I said, you can go higher, you can go as high as you want. And basically, you know, I think you know with uh, my 4-bit machine I would say I'm probably gonna be able to add up to I think 64 so yeah I mean as many decoders as you want on your machine you can do and like I said this one just has uh, you know 0 through 3 hooked up I'm just gonna give you one more quick quick look at it see how it's coming in the answer you know the clock runs through it goes through and then it you know basically pushes out the answer in binary and then once the answer comes through into binary, it uh, triggers the decoder to turn on. See how it's on uh, number two, and then number three, and then it'll go back to zero. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, that'll be in the next couple days. I'm gonna put out put out that video. And so you know, basically, I'm just gonna shut this back off. And wherever I stop it at, it'll just stop. So number two's on. And then all you basically have to do is put the repeater back in, and then the clock will work again. And you can, like I said, you can just hook this up to a switch, no problem, and uh, that'll be it. And then, but these timers are really nice because you can hook them up to your RAM, and you can have it automatically, you know, refresh your RAM or reset your RAM. You can have it hooked up to your displays. Uh, if you have a bigger display, and you say, like, maybe if you have images hooked up into your display, you can have your timer you know set to whatever time you want and it, you can have it do you know predetermined things at, at specific times and uh, the, it's really uh, really nice and it's basically an essential part of having a CPU so yeah just give me one second and uh, I'm gonna get back to the tutorial video on the you know the final part on how to hook up you know how to actually build the structure and how to power up all the uh, segments so All right, guys, what's going on? I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted to show you how to build this seven-segment display from the very first block. And uh, what I just got done doing was, you know, putting the final touches on the uh, decoders. So now, start with the blocks. I'm going to lay a couple lines of redstone to uh, basically just blocks up in the air. It's just an easy. It was a little bit off. Uh, ended up causing me a little bit of a problem. So basically what you want to do is pull it a little bit farther out away from the decoders so it gives you a little bit more room to work with. Uh, this will work as you can see it does work but um, as I hook up more and more of the decoders it will actually get a little bit more difficult to hook up and as you build a few more of these um, it gets easier and easier and when you uh, build more than one like you know hook up two of them to get higher numbers it gets a little bit more tricky and uh, you know you want to you know basically map out 
the way you do it and uh, give yourself plenty of room because uh, there's been times where I've hooked it up and, you know, basically had to go back and tear it all down and move it. And uh, this one is right in the middle. Um, it's usable, but it's uh, I'm basically jumping jumping lines of redstone over top of each other towards uh, towards like number five and number six. And like as I go on, it'll get a little bit more tricky. But you know, this will be fine and it'll work. But like I said, just just pull it out a little bit, and uh, then you should be you shouldn't have no problem at all. And uh, so, like I said, if if you have any uh, questions or there's something you missed or something I can help you with, just feel free to ask. Uh, there's an, I, I like have no problem going back and uh, making another video or whatever I need to do to help you out. Um, I'm gonna basically go through everything. You know, if you watch my CPU video, you'll see I have a uh, just a four-bit CPU. It's pretty big, but yeah, it's got a lot of functions and it's really cool. But you know, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to build the the control panel, the the memory. I have ROM on mine and RAM and registers now and uh, timers. And uh, what I'm actually doing next is uh, gonna hook up a huge display to it and. Uh, have like preload preloaded images run like a slideshow which is uh basically my next idea I've already tested it and I know it works so that's gonna be a pretty cool idea and um, there's a few more things I can add to like the math I'm gonna do multiply and dividing and like I said in the last video I'm gonna do the square roots but I'm trying to get these videos out as fast as I can uh, been a little bit busy sorry it's been like almost two weeks since I posted the last one but uh, if uh, anybody's stuck on something, just let me know. I'll definitely post another one. But yeah, so as you can see, I'm basically, you know, I got the structure laid out, and now I'm just running uh, power to every segment. So each, you know, there's seven segments. All you really need to do is just, uh, you know, build the structure, put all the, the, the torches on it, you know, each segment, and then there's one power line which is like an input line and uh, for each segment each input line will turn off three torches so it's uh... it's a lot easier than it looks it kinda looks like a jumbled mess when it's all done but it's really not that bad uh... when i was learning how to do this i was trying to you know watch a few videos and you know they, it was really hard because uh... nobody wanted to show you step by step how to do this and they basically just you know gave you a quick explanation and showed you the finished product and basically had to wing it and it took me quite some time to do it that way so that's why I basically uh, am trying to make you know every one of my videos from uh, scratch you know I want to show you when I when I build it I record it and then I go I'm um, going back and commentating to it so you don't miss anything and then you can just rewind and you know step by step literally just you know put every block down that way uh, you don't have no problems and then if I run into anything you know along the way like I said you know with moving this display up some cause a little bit of an issue for me you know so I'm just trying to show you uh, any way you know any little thing that I run you know run across and um, so yeah basically you know hooking up these power lines it's uh, fairly easy you know the bottom ones are you know easy uh, they go right in and then the top ones you basically just have to do the vertical transmission which is uh, a block with a redstone torch on top and then another block and a redstone torch on top of that and then that's basically how you get power going you know up and then you can go as high as you want with it and uh, so yeah but then once you have all these hooked up all the seven or all the uh, segments hooked up I'll show you uh, the last thing which is basically like it's basically like um, kinda like a decoder too but after the decoders it goes into that that line of code that I've been saying and it uh, it will tell you you know it'll tell the display which lights to turn off and what's cool about that is this is definitely the easiest way that you'll find to do this because you know you could do it on a seven segment display or you can build like like really big like TV looking you know like whole big like 16 by 16 you know displays with uh, no segments you know just all torches and 
you can hook this up and you can basically make your decoders do whatever you want them to do and if you watch my last video you'll see in in this whole setup that I have it's basically running off of a binary answer everything comes in binary and basically comes out into the display and it tells you know what segment to turn off but with this same setup you don't have to do it like that you can actually you know program it to do whatever you want it to do like uh, one of my probably down the line I'm gonna it, I don't know if I can do it yet I'm actually you know still in the process of figuring it out but I'm gonna try like full-length animations like you know maybe like 30 second animations where I got like a huge screen and you know it runs maybe I don't know like a small like maybe like a cartoon looking thing or something like that uh, I already tested out like a slideshow with preloaded images and uh, that definitely works takes a ton of RAM and uh, it's a lot of time and effort but you know I actually just started using MC edit because it just got too much with the RAM uh, for with a 16 by 16 display I believe it takes uh, eight bytes of RAM for or no I'm sorry eight bits of RAM which is one byte uh, of RAM for every one torch so you know and that's just one preloaded image so if you actually wanted to change it you'd have to have more than one so I mean it's just huge the amount of RAM and everything that goes into this uh, I mean it can be done freehand for sure I've done it but uh, I would recommend getting MC Edit, and uh, if you're not sure how to use MC Edit or where to get it, just let me know. I can give you a link and uh, explain. I can even make a tutorial video on how to do it. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's uh, it's not that bad. So, but yeah, the uh, this is I actually have almost all of them hooked up here, and you know, like I said, you're just hooking up the power into it. And then uh, when the power is done, all you need to do is uh, hook anything, you know, any functions, any uh, adders, subtractors, multipliers, dividers, anything, you know, timers, anything that you want to hook up to this, you can, you know, hook up to this display and uh, it'll run in binary. So, um, and I, on this tutorial, I actually am only going to hook up one if uh, you know to hook up to all you have to do is run the power lead over into a second one and you know if you guys aren't, aren't sure how to go you know go past the number nine and uh, go into number ten sorry I didn't actually you know go any higher than this but if you need to I can make a real quick video and uh, you know show you step by step how to do that so if you run into any problems I think you'll be alright but if you run into you know where you can't get it or you know you have a question or something just ask and uh, yeah, but when you're done with this, you know, I would say the next step would be to probably start hooking up your control panel. Uh, so basically the biggest part to it all and, uh, you know, your placement of it is really, you know, essential because the, the you know, as big as these machines get, the uh, slower they get basically. So, you know, it the, my CPU, my 4-bit CPU, the last one that I built, takes about four seconds for an answer to come through which is kinda slow so you know the next time I build one I'm the next one I build is probably gonna be a 16-bit one and I've been working on you know different methods to uh, make them a lot smaller so uh, you know stay tuned and you know in the near future I'm gonna make videos on how to do that but that's it guys thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, please uh, like, sub to the channel, anything you do to help, and check out some of the guys on my uh, other channels list, on my main channel, uh, really friendly guys, uh, they were really receptive to me, uh, I sent them some messages and asked them to basically promote my channel, uh, they were really cool about doing it, and they actually taught me some of the stuff that I know, so if you guys could uh, give them a quick look, that'd be great, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, thanks guys.